Hello friends, the question is like this. By using the properties of definite integral, evaluate the integral x times 1 minus x to the power of n dx from the limit 0 to 1. Okay. Now to solve this question, first of all, we take the function which has been given to us and it is x times 1 minus x to the power of n, right? Now here, 1 minus x raised to the power of n is creating a problem because its expansion would be very difficult if we apply binomial theorem and if we could expand it anyhow, then how we are going to integrate this. So this bracket 1 minus x to the power of n, this term, complete term, is creating a problem. Okay, but this can be simplified into a very easy form because of the limits which we have been given to us. Limits have been given to us as 0 to 1. Okay, so what we are going to do? We are going to apply this property fx dx from 0 to a is equal to f of a minus x dx from 0 to a. We are going to apply this property, this property of definite integrals. Okay. So according to this property of definite integral, you can see that if the limit is given from 0 to a, then for the given function, you can you can change the value of x as a minus x. Okay. So what we are going to do, we are going to do the same. We are going to replace x by 1 minus x. So I'm going to obtain 1 minus x for x and for x 1 minus x whole to the power of n. Okay. Now you can see this 1 and 1 are going to cancel out and this is going to become x. So I'm going to get 0 to 1, 1 minus x whole to the power uh, into x to the power of n dx. Now you can see that this x to the power of n can be multiplied inside the bracket to obtain x to the power of n minus x to the power of n plus 1. And the integrations are very, very simple. x to the power of n and x to the power of n, n plus 1 can be integrated in just a matter of seconds. It's now a very easy task for you. So this will be equal to x to the power of n plus 1 upon n plus 1 minus x to the power of n plus 2 upon n plus 2. Okay. So I'm not uh, discussing the formula how we have integrated. So the limits are from 0 to 1. We are going to now apply the limits and this will be equal to 1 raised to the power of n plus 1 upon n plus 1 minus 1 raised to the power of n plus 2 upon n plus 2 placing the upper limit minus the lower limit 0. Okay. So this gives me 1 upon n plus 1 minus 1 upon n plus 2. This whole term will become 0. So no need to bother about this term. On taking LCM, this will be equal to the, the LCM would be, would be a n plus one into a n plus two of these terms, and uh, this will be equal to n plus two minus n minus one. This n and n cancels out. This gives me one upon n plus one into n plus two, which is my required answer. So that's how we are going to solve this question. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest update. Subscribe and like the videos on these YouTube channels HSK Shiksha and Maths Help by HSK. Thank you.